Well, greetings, everybody, from the dank basement. I'm your wicked Uncle Squiddy Paul. I don't know if you ever do this. I don't do it for the nicotine. I try to mix flavors a little bit. Get a nice pipe tobacco, fill up a bowl and smoke it. And then, in the midst of smoking the pipe, take a little pinch of snuff. This is the Toke Ambrosia. I got a very large sample of this as a gift from a viewer who bought it in bulk when this was first introduced by Toke a couple of years ago. It's essentially Spanish gem, but more coarsely ground, more moist, and with the addition of the evil Rustica, which kicks up the nicotine by about 8,000 notches. Here we go. Oh, that's so nice. Handkerchief. And in the pipe, McBaron Vanilla Cream. Got to be careful with McBaron aromatics. They will bite your tongue if you're not very careful with them. This is an Eric Nording pipe. It disassembles very easily, so you can just pop it in this carry bag and go. The uh, lining is briar although the outside of this is plastic. This tube is metal, and of course the bit is plastic as well. Works. What an interesting mix in the nose. You get that bready, biscuity, honey, really pleasant Spanish gem, which is an SP. And then you get the, um, in this case, the Ambrosia with the Rustica. And then you get the scent of the vanilla from the Vanilla Cream by McBaron. It's burning a little too slowly. Yeah, be careful with these McBaron aromatics. <laughs> Ugh, French fry the tonga. setting down my handkerchief. Where'd I put it? Well, there it is. This is smoking a little wet, so I think I'll kill it here. But thank you for spending a little time with me. I always appreciate the chance to talk to you. If you have not yet subscribed, don't forget to press the subscribe button. If you want to be kind to a poor old blind man, press that like button. And of course, you can hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload all of this meaningful content. As always, I appreciate your comments in the section below, and you can always write to me, unclesquinty at gmail.com.